The Proactive Intrusion Detection and Mitigation System, or PIDMS, was developed under a three-year DOE CEDO project, or the Solar Energy Technologies Office, and it was developed to protect DER systems, specifically PV or photovoltaic systems, um, and we wanted to process uh, smart inverter communications using our PIDMS and be able to collect both cyber data as well as physical data. And so the PIDMS is able to do hybrid um, intrusion detection analysis by leveraging the cyber data, so the communication traffic um, within the PV system, as well as the power system data um, queried directly from the inverter. And uh, furthermore, it's doing hybrid analysis by combining both signature and uh, behavior-based techniques, um, where we develop custom machine learning algorithms. Um, and finally, it has been deployed on a single board computer and has flexible deployment on both virtual and hardware prototypes. Um, and is able to be a low cost and distributed solution for DER owners, aggregators, and um, utilities. PIDMS provides the much needed DER defense for the grid edge systems. And it's not only able to perform detection, but mitigation, which improves the grid resilience. Uh, furthermore, with this flexible deployment, um, where in our project we deployed it on a single board computer, as you can see right here on a Raspberry Pi, um, it can be placed bump in the wire to the smart inverter or any other smart device and be able to collect that cyber physical data. But it could also be deployed as a software container in a virtualized form um, to be integrated within a smart device. And so that flexible um, implementation is really useful for DER operators and owners to be able to integrate cybersecurity step by step. And finally, the cyber physical situational, uh, situational awareness capabilities are really important for not only cybersecurity, but improving situational awareness that grid owners and operators can utilize for improving their operation um, as well as design. And it is not only applicable to the DER system or the PV system as we explored in this project, but it can be applied to, across the grid for transmission and distribution systems. And it provides that much needed situational awareness into the cyber and physical data streams. And we even have a front end dashboard that an operator can look at. As you can see an example here where we have the cyber data shown, we can show both the cyber and physical data as well as any alerts for um, an event that's detected and any mitigations that have been deployed. And so by having the situational awareness as well as this grid edge um, uh, cybersecurity solution. This helps really inform a defense in depth approach because it can be integrated with other cybersecurity tools, say deployed at a utility or aggregator, and really help improve the resilience of the overall grid. Recent events have shown it is of critical importance that we protect our critical infrastructure, and the electric grid plays a big role in that. And we saw a gap in the grid edge defense, especially for DER systems like PV systems. And so we wanted to address that grid edge gap so that we could promote a more defense in depth approach um, and also uh, address the gap of cyber physical analysis for cybersecurity. Lastly, since a lot of these modernization efforts are occurring now and the DER penetration is currently rising, um, we have an opportunity to incorporate cybersecurity from the design phase and increase the resilience of the overall grid. So the grid um, and DER systems in general are going through large modernization efforts and new technologies like smart inverters and um, uh, new monitoring capabilities as well as new access interfaces and softwares are being integrated and this has greatly improved the operation of the grid um, and efficiency as well. Um, and we can have more grid uh, support automated functions and so we are able to use DER systems like we haven't before. Um, however, um, as expected, this has also broadened the attack landscape of the DER system and the grid in general. And so we wanted to focus on the gap of grid edge DER cybersecurity and develop the PIDMS that can be distributed and placed in these different DER systems and be able to communicate with one another using peer-to-peer -peer communication and be able to perform detection um, to provide both local visibility and global visibility. Uh, furthermore, um, the IDSs that have been utilized um, focus more on cyber data, and there hasn't been a, a, an intrusion detection system that's been developed that uses both cyber and physical data, which is integral for the power grid and DER systems um, where physical consequences can arise. And so the PIDMS helps address both that cyber physical analysis gap 
as well as securing the grid edge. So the PIDMS will have a significant impact on grid cybersecurity as a whole. Um, not only does it do the cyber physical analysis, but it can perform distributed detection and mitigation. And this um, analysis isn't just uh, restricted to uh, detection or cybersecurity. They can be used across the grid for different situational awareness. The PIDMS will not only uh, make a more resilient grid of the future, but it will also help improve operation and reliability of the grid um, due to the cyber physical situational awareness.